So we have here Tony from Surprise Stair Games, and we have Totemo, which is his new game for, yeah, there it is, all right. So I like the setup. This is kind of nice with the, 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 the cloth here. This is cool. Okay, so we got 15 minutes or start the clock. Okay. All right. So tell us about your game here, Tony. Okay, Totemo is a colorful building game. Uh, the aim of the game is to score the most points. Um, at the start of the game, I'm going to do some setup. You get with the game, you get a, a wooden board into which the colorful pieces will slot. Nice. Uh, you get a fabric tea towel sized uh, board itself to do the scoring around the outside. It all comes in a beautiful bag. Very nice tote. Yeah, if it's good enough for Bowzak, it's good enough for us. <laughs> yeah. And then you get a, ver a variety of player pieces. It plays two to four players. Okay. So let's, I'll have the pink. And you can have the green. I All right, I'll with. take the green, yes, thank you. Okay, and one of us will be the, the chief who will move a chief piece who is the round counter for the game. So the game will end after a certain number of rounds, okay. depending on the number of players. So sure. 12 rounds for two players, nine for three, uh, six for four. Okay, and we've got that marked nicely yes. right there on the exactly. board. Exactly. So we have three player pieces. One goes on the zero space. To show oh, yep. I'm we going haven't scored any points go. yet. Yep. One goes on the zero lap counter. Okay, all right. And the other one stays in front of us because I'm never able to remember which color I am in a game. So that just reminds Thank me. Thank you very I much. Think. That is a good <laughs> thing. Yes, it's nice to have that extra token. Okay, so I'm just going to hunt around in the bag now for the block that goes in at the start. Okay. Oh, hey, okay, colorful. A little three block there with a rainbow. Mm -hmm. There are six colors of block in the game and they've got a variety of scoring values on them. Okay. Okay. And a block is made up of a peg at the bottom and then a hole at the top. Now some of the blocks have holes that are deep enough for other blocks to stack in. Oh nice. Some of the blocks look like they've got a hole but actually you don't get a block fully in there. Gotcha. Those are called toppers, they've also got feather icons on the top oh, as well. Oh okay so you can see that, okay. yeah. F the feather ones are, are, are used to, to show they can't be placed on the ground floor, they have to be placed further up a totem pole. Oh okay. Okay. But it also allows uh, the player to see that nothing could nothing go, on, could go on the top. Yeah. Exactly. That's nice. So let's do a bit of admin at the start of the game. Uh -huh. There are a number of uh, tiles, little tiny wooden tiles with various numbers on them. At the start of the game we will seed the outside of the scoring track with these wooden tiles and these are bonus spots. Oh, okay. The sequence of the game is on your turn, you will take a block, place it on the board and you will score some points and that's it. Okay. Now, if you happen to score enough points to land exactly on one of the bonus spots, you get to place another block in your turn. Oh, okay. And if you score another sufficient amount to get to the next block, you can place your third block. Mm. You start the game with three blocks in your hand and you will always refresh up the three blocks. At and the end these of the are turn. randomly drawn from randomly the bag? Randomly drawn from the bag. Okay. There are six colours. There are the three primary colours, red, yellow and blue. And the secondary colours, orange, purple and green. And that's very important because the way that you place and score is dependent on the colors that you've got. So let's do the seeding. So randomly shuffle these blocks. We start with the 10 space and I put a block a nine. number nine. So okay. we count nine on from there, which oh, is okay. space 19. Take another block at random and that's a six. Okay. And then we take another block and put it on at 25, which is a seven. And this takes us right round past the start, 32. so we put that on the two, but we don't turn the last one over. Oh, okay. Once we've so gone past the end of the track 30 onto one again, we place the last tile face down. You don't need to know what the number is because it doesn't tell you how far it is sure. to the next spot, whereas oh. these tell you how far it is to the next bonus spot. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this tile can only be used by a player once they've gone at least once around the track. Right. So if I start at the, the very beginning of the game, and managed to score two points, then I wouldn't get a bonus spot at this, at this place. Hence, that's I have why to go around at least that. once, and then, then I can start gotcha. using it. Gotcha. Okay, the rules for placement are very simple. Let me, let me ask, does this turn over as soon as somebody nope. passes? No, no it it'll doesn't. always stay like that. It always yep. stays face down, okay. Yep. It's, it's nothing more special than a, a bonus spot. I got you, okay. Okay, so on your turn, as I said, you'll place one block, and you can place a block out on its own, on the board, somewhere around the edge. Okay. Or you can place it touching or on top of another block. And as the game progresses, you'll see that this gets more and more cluttered mm -hmm. with the little totem poles have begun to, to be built sure. around the board. And when you score, you score the value of the block that you've placed okay. and then the value of all the blocks that it touches. Oh. The one underneath, if it's on the first floor or above, or any blocks that it's touching around orthogonally, okay? 
Now, it's not that straightforward because you have to place according to the colour wheel as well. So on the back of the rule book, we helpfully print a little squirrel looking up at the colour wheel. Very nice. Um, you can only place, for instance, if you look at the orange block, an orange block can, is only allowed to touch other orange blocks, red blocks or yellow blocks. Oh, okay. okay, all right. So yeah. as long as it shares something in the colour wheel, it's allowed to go next to it. Oh, nice, okay. So you do get situations where there are little cubby holes which could score lots of points, but nobody can actually go there because it's not possible to place right. any colour in there that matches all of the things it, it has to match everything that it touches, yeah. There are three blocks in the bag that are rainbow blocks. They're worth zero themselves, but they go anywhere. Rainbow blocks can be placed next to anything, can have anything ne placed next to them. Okay. So they're wild cards. So they're worth, so even though it has a three on it, that yeah. just... Now this is the starting one. This is a... Get okay. the game going. Oh, the, all right. So the other yeah. ones are worth zero. Yeah. So what we'll do yeah. is we'll take three blocks at random out of the bag. Mm -hmm. You take three, Doug. Now if I'll make right. you the start player. Uh-oh. So you have this little tiny brown cylinder as well. It sounds good. Okay. All right. now your duty as start player at the beginning of every one of your turns is to move the chief one closer to his TP. Okay. When he reaches the TP, that will be the last round. Even on the start of the first round? Even, the first? Yep. Okay. Even on the start of the first round. Okay. Alright. So we do that. And then I take my blocks and I look at these. Now you can keep them secret. If you're a serious game, you, you don't want to show anybody what you've got. But if you're a, a family gamer, right, then you don't mind. Right, right, right. Okay. So it can... It, it can, can it touch? It cannot touch diagonally. That's it right. Okay, yeah, so, so if you place it, it to the diagonal, that would just be three points. So this, but this will be six. That would be six points. Okay, so six points. So one, two, up to six, and then I refresh. So that's a turn. That's your turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a topper block, an orange, and put it on top of the rainbow block. Four plus three is seven. So you? Probably he's well, going to no, kill no, no. me. I mean, I'm, if you take a look at it now, if I rotate the, the board slightly, orange and blue are on opposite sides of the colour wheel. So I know that unless you've got a rainbow block, there's nothing that you can do to sneakily use Str the seven points Strategy, got, yeah? yes, okay. yes, I see, I see. Okay. Well, we're not talking DMACA strategy here, but yeah, we are yeah. talking there is an element of... Yes, I can see that, yes. ...of uh, screwage. Okay, so you get seven points. I get seven points. I've moved on to All that. right, okay. I take a block. Now, yes. you're on six, so what you ideally want to do now is to score one, two, three, four to get onto that jumping off spot. Well, ideally, jump. yes. That, that would be, but given what I've got, that is not possible as I can see it. Well, then, of course, you could look at four plus nine, so if you could score... 13, then that would get you over there. But I think 13. Sure, I, I think that's really is... not a not a not a possibility. So I, I think my only real play might be here. So that gives me six again. That gives you six. But I will point something out before yes, you take. Yes, please do. Up. You've got orange and yes. orange. So colors that go in that space are red, orange, and yellow. And if yes. I've got any of those, I will score the block itself plus oh, the four I plus see. the three. Okay. So you All would right. be gifting me at least seven points. So it might then. be better for me to go out here and yep. get only three. All right, I'll get three. One, two, three. And okay. I'll drop. And you would have moved the little chief down there on your turn. I did. Oh yes. yes. Right. So now I need one, two, three myself, which isn't very easy because everything is at least three on the board. So. I'll simply put a one out there and score four. Put myself on 11. Okay. Take a block. Chief uh, moves there. Yes, yes, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's so I do this all the time, everybody. Just yeah, you're doing, you're, you, you, you do that part now. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and think here. I don't know about this thinking thing here. So you need to score one or 10. Yeah, I wish I could sort of do either one of those. Let's see. Okay, so that would be. That would be four. It would be four also if I go there. I would get six if I go here. I'll do that, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, as you can see, this is great for the young ones. This is age six plus on our... It's on our great, I, I like the, the tactile. Kids, the kids love the maths yeah. and the kids yeah, love yeah, the yeah. color stuff. You've my kids are better at the color wheel as well, that's why I always need this thing fixed. Yeah, you on. definitely need the color wheel thing sitting there in front of you, but that, that helps, so, it's nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. Okay, well, there's seven there. I can feel pain coming. Yes, eight. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to take red next to purple next to orange, which uh -huh. is nine points. Nine points. Which 
leaps me over there. I'm not doing that well, to be honest with you. Let's move that guy along there. Yeah. I'm not hitting those bonus spots. It's yeah, a, well, it's, it's a game about yeah. actually not necessarily scoring the biggest value yeah. with your blocks, but scoring the right value to get you onto these spots. Sure. So if I do this, that's four points. Sweet. That's which lands me on there. Now, do I refill? No. Nope, no. Nope. Okay, so you don't refill. All right. Um, Only at the end of your turn. Right. Okay. So now, if, you can, if you can hit a magic six, which you can do. Which I can do. Yes, let's see. So I can do this. Indeed. So that would be six. Which puts two, you on three, the 25. Four, five, six. Ooh, and then I get to play my last block. Okay. Just for as and much as you can get out of it. Right. It's five. There's several places you can play it. This this one in in the corner here is quite quite groovy because again you've got a situation where yellow doesn't go nothing goes next to yellow and purple apart from a, a rainbow. So if you put your yellow in that space, you're blocking off the use of that. Oh, I see. Of see? That hole. Oh, all this strategy that you've got. All right, so that's five there. So we just go okay. one, two, three, four, five, and you're on the thirty. Okay, and now I don't have any. So you now so stock I, up the three, I'm and it's my turn. All right. Okay. So I need Let's to see what we're doing two, three, for three, time. Four, five. Whoops. You gotta watch that because there was. Well, let's put a yellow next to a yellow there. That's five. Five for you. Oh, we didn't move that. That gets me onto there. Seven is next. I can get eight, or I can get eight, so I'll get eight in that space there, which puts me on 33, and I've gone one lap around the board. Oh, look at you. Okay, so we're moving there. So if I go, wait, okay, I go two. Can I go two? I could go two. And if I do that, so red. Okay, so if I play this out here, I go two. Exactly, and you've now gone around at least once, you can mm -hmm. now use that so, as the jump spot, that's great. So I can jump, and then if I play that there, that's six. It is six. Okay, two, that's eight. That's eight. And I draw two. Okay, and we got two, two three, and a half four, minutes. Five, six, seven. Uh oh. Three and three and one is seven. Oh, gotta watch this guy. Uh, nine. Nine is such a horrible score because that's such a big jump across there. So I will just have to. This has to go on the top because it's got a feather yeah. on it. So I mm -hmm. should just score the six points on there. Ten and six is sixteen. Okay. Okay. Ha -ha. So... So that'll get me two. Now that one can't actually go on the ground floor. Oh, it's, it's, got a, fe it's got a feather. Oh, sorry, on. I apologize. Okay. Let's see. If you need two, then then that would be just yeah. as good out in the open there. But is that? I think it would be better. Yeah. Okay. So two there. I could say. Whoops. I picked that up yep. accidentally. Okay. And then I think. Well, that's eight. Six, eight. seven, eight. Nice. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I need to score one, two, three. Red onto orange Oops. for three. For there. Sorry. Uh, can I get a six? No. I can get a six. Oh no. I can get a six in there using the zero next to two yeah. threes. Which puts me to there. And then I'll just score two plus three plus three is eight. Nice. In the middle there, which puts me onto there. Round one more time. Well that's not good. What are you doing to me Oops, here? I'm taking too many blocks in. Okay, two, let's see. So that's two, four, five, six, seven. Is that eight if I put that there? Uh, one, three, five, that would be eight. eight. If, you, if you can get seven, then you can get onto that spot there. Oh. Well, let's see. I don't know that I can. Oh, yes I can. 
That yeah, would be again. So nope, nope. And it's got the feather on. It's got so. the feather. Uh, yeah, see? Uh, Dag Nebbit. With the feather. Okay. Blue, green, green. Let's see, four. That's seven. That's eight. Three, four, five, six, six seven. seven. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, there All goes right. the iPhone. Well, there goes Maybe the time. All right. Uh, well, let's just finish out our, our hand here. Um, oh, so I get to play, you get play. again. You so, want to get that big score again, don't you, in there? In here. That's another seven. So that's two, four, six, seven. All right. So Which takes five, you to six, there. Seven. Oh, well, look at that. And this gets me seven as seven well. Seven again, indeed. All right. So there you go. Okay. And, and we there play we until... Right. Either the bag runs out or... So, well, or or we get to this, yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, okay. in a game where, you, where lots of players are actually playing out more than one or two blocks sure. turn, and then and the bag will run out before mm -hmm. the, the time mm -hmm. counter. But okay. This is go. great. I love the tactile feel to it. Oh, it's great fun. Yeah, it? yeah. So, so um, uh, avail now, what's the availability? Availability is here at Essen, of course. It is course. Essen, yeah, absolutely. Um, how about for those people who are watching at home, as they say? Uh, well, you can order it off our website, but... Um, that would be... That's the surprisethergames.co.uk. There we go. Thank you very much for that, Doug, for reminding me of that. Uh, but we've brought every single copy that we have here. Okay. So All right. uh, we only have 489 copies. 489. Up, so. Yeah, I know it's an odd number. We did order 500, but you know, <laughs> some got lost in transit. I, I see, I see. Really nice game, solid, so, I like it. Oh, and why don't you show yeah, that, yeah, so Fitz yeah. is um, also coming out from it's this came, this out came out last year? It came out from us last year, but it's coming out as a reprint from Griffin Games in its tin box, which is a rather lovely, luxurious thing. Very um, nice. So that's very lovely, but they're also doing uh, a five and six player expansion for it as well. So there's enough cards to make it playable with the five and six players. Perfect. Or Wonderful. to make a slightly longer game for two to four players that want to play for a little bit. Great. So, Tony, thank you very much. Lovely to see this you guys This is great. Again. All right. Good luck. And at BGGCon, it will be available. Sweet. Thanks.